This video will show you how to use the command control custom service using Ethernet IP explicit communication using a Micrologix PLC. In this example, we have a Micrologix 1100 PLC that we'll be using, and uh, we'll show you how to use it. So the command control is when you want to execute any of the control commands, like changing the program, things like that. Uh, changing the program is probably the most common thing, and uh, we'll show you that example in this video. So here's the section from the manual for the Ethernet IP message service to control uh, command execution. Uh, again, it's hex code 4C is going to be the custom service. And uh, basically what, how this is going to work is we're going to receive four bytes. So the, in the receive information will be any additional code information like command error or command operation prohibited, etc. Uh, but the send information, the send information is going to vary depending on the command that you're doing. So you'll have to refer to the user manual to find out which command you're doing and what how many command parameters are needed. So uh, in this example here is going to be the change program command. This is command number 24. So all commands are going to have a command number associated to them. So that's going to be the first four bytes that you're sending. So every thing that you send is going to be 32 bits. So it'll be four bytes. So the first one is going to be the command number. And then the following bytes will be the command parameters depending on the co co command that you're executing. So in the command 24 which is the change program command you're going to need first of all the command code which will be a 24. That'll be the first 32-bit uh, data that we're sending. Then you need two command parameters. The first command parameter is going to be which SD card number that you want to switch the program to. It could be SD1 card or two, one or two. And then the second command parameter will be the program number that you want to switch to. So again, these command parameters will vary depending on which command that you're executing. Chapter 6 of the user manual will have all the information on the control commands. Um, in fact, right in the beginning of the section here, you can see the list of control commands. So just for reference, I'm pulling this up here so you can see it. When you're running any of these commands via Ethernet IP uh, explicit messaging, you need to reference the command number. So this will be the list of the command and the command number. So you can see there's various commands like triggering, switching between run and setup mode, etc. Uh, we're going to focus on changing the program, which is command number 24, but you can see there's a variety of commands here. So if I jump right to the PW command, which is generically known as uh, which is generically known as to change programs. Again, it's command 24. You can see it'll outline the command parameters that are necessary. So again, for this one, we need command 24, and then we need two command parameters. The first one is going to be the SD card number, one or two. The second command, par number, command parameter will be the program that we want to switch to. So again, just refer to this section for all the details of the commands. Okay, as you can see here, I have the basic message, the basics of the message already set up. So now we're going to configure this message for the command control. And specifically, we're going to set it up to change the program. So if you recall, we need to send, or we're going to be receiving four bytes. So that's going to be the response. So we'll go ahead and set the size and bytes for four for the receive. And we'll send that to our L11 here. So put that in there. And then again, the send information is going to be depend on which command you're doing. And we're going to do the change program command. So that's going to require the command number, of course, which all commands will require. And then two command parameters. So they're four bytes each. So we're going to need to send a total of 12 bytes. So I'll enter a 12 there. And our send information, we're going to send from L12, as that's already been set up. And those are, again, 32-bit locations already conveniently set up. So that's our send and receive information. The service code for command control is 4C, so we'll go ahead and enter that in here. And then you can see we have already have everything else set up. The multi hap tab is the IP address of the CVX controller. You can see that's already been set up, so this is where the message will be sent to. So we'll go ahead and download this to the PLC now and test it out. We are now online with the PLC, and we can now go ahead and test out our command. So for reference, we are currently on 
program zero on the CVX controller as you can see here. So let's say we want to go ahead and change the program to let's say number five. So what we'll do is again we'll bring up our message setup as you can see we just set up and uh, go to our send information here. So this is where we need to set up our command number and our command parameters. So if you recall the command number for changing programs is 24 so I'll load that into the first location so that's the command number. The next one is the SD card number, so this is command parameter 1, which will be either SD card 1 or SD2. And then what I'll do is uh, the next command parameter, or the next location here, will be the program that we want to switch to. So I'm going to go ahead and load in a 5 there. So we're going to change to program 5 on SD1, and using command number 24, which is the program change command. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way here, and I'll manually toggle this bit. As you can see here, we get the done bit as soon as the message is done. And if I switch over to the CVX, you can see it ch changed over to program 5. I just it's the same program I copied it over. So we're on program 5. So if we want to switch back or switch back to program 0 here, so we can put a 0 back. So I'll put that back as the program number. Uh, it is now going to switch back over to program 0 on SD card 1 when I toggle this message. So we'll go ahead and toggle it again. Again, we get the done bit to indicate that it is done. And we'll switch back over and show you that again we're back to program zero here. So pretty simple, pretty simple to issue these commands. You just got to make sure you know the desired command number and any of the associated command parameters that go along with it.